ESTs are hard workers. I also have a Twitch channel. Head on over there for more roleplay advice and other fun stuff. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about ESTJs and ESTPs. Yes, another MBTI types video. If you missed the first one that gives you an introduction on MBTI as well as the history, I will link it up in the card for you to go check out before this video. And we're going to talk about our two EST types. And remember, MBTI is primarily a workplace tool, so you can use it to determine how your character acts, reacts, makes decisions, and what they notice in their environment. The first letter of your MBTI type is either E for extroversion or I for introversion. This is your favorite world. Do you prefer to focus on your outer world or your inner world? Those who prefer extroversion draw energy from action. They tend to act, react, then act further. If they're inactive, their motivation tends to decline. To rebuild their energy, extroverts need breaks from periods of reflection so that they can get back to the action. The second letter is either S for sensing or N for intuition. This defines how you process information. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in, or do you prefer to interpret information and add meaning? Those who prefer sensing are more likely to trust information that's right in front of them, or that can be shown to them in some way. They trust the present, tangible, and concrete, aka information that can be understood from the five senses. The third letter is either T for thinking or F for feeling. This is how you make decisions. Do you first look at logic and consistency, or do you first look at people in special circumstances? Those who prefer thinking tend to decide things from a more detached standpoint. Measuring a decision by what seems reasonable, logical, causal, and consistent, and matches a given set of rules. ESTs are hard workers. They use their sensing to perceive what needs to be done and when it needs to be done by. They take what they sense and use thinking to find maximum efficiency. Then they use their interpersonal skills to get the job done or to make sure others are doing what they should. The difference between these types is the last letter, either J for judging or P for perceiving. This is how you deal with the outside world. Do you prefer to decide things, or do you prefer to stay open to new information? ESTJs are known as executives. Those who prefer judging feel most comfortable when they have a plan, and they would rather come up with five backup plans than deal with events as they come, preferring to consider their options ahead of time. Personality types with this trait prefer clarity and closure, sticking to the plan rather than going with the flow. Combine that with their EST natures of being hard workers, and that means ESTJs do best when given a strong tradition that they can follow and help shape. Executives are dedicated, strong-willed, loyal, patient, honest, and organized. But they're also judgmental, easily uncomfortable, high-strung, cold, snobby, and inflexible. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's look at how ESTJs handle their career. ESTJs are looking for clear organization, strong tradition, and somewhere that they can stick. Their loyal streak means that they're more likely to stay with an employer than leave for something else. Their main goal is to find a workplace where people are responsible for their duties no matter the circumstances. They believe everyone should be putting in their 100% every day, and you can rest assured that ESTJs always do their 100%. They may struggle in jobs where things aren't super efficient or clear. They don't go with the flow very well and they can't always adapt to change. Fast-paced environments may be a challenge for them as they insist on juggling all of their duties even when there's more of them than what they can handle. They don't do their best when they can't be efficient for one reason or another, or when their coworkers or leaders don't maintain their same ideals. They make great military leaders, managers, athletes, police officers, judges, coaches, salesmen, or business administrators. ESTPs are known as entrepreneurs. Those who prefer perceiving are much more flexible when it comes to dealing with unexpected challenges. 
This flexibility helps them seize unexpected opportunities as well. These personality types tend to react to their environments rather than try to control them, helping them to make their own luck in whatever the world delivers. People with this trait hold that life is full of possibilities. Combine that with their EST nature of being hard workers, and that means ESTPs crave an ever-shifting environment that challenges them regularly. Entrepreneurs are bold, rational, original, perceptive, direct, and sociable, but they're also insensitive, impatient, risk-prone, unstructured, defiant, and may miss the bigger picture. MBTI was developed for the workplace, so let's see how ESTPs handle their career. ESTPs do their best when they can constantly be in action. They crave an ever-changing environment that forces them to be quick on their toes and in their ideas. Popularity, solid networking, and autonomy to do this is what's needed without the boss's approval. That's what makes ESTPs thrive. They know how to best organize their day to achieve maximum efficiency and don't need anyone else to explain it to them. That's why you can often find this personality type craving to work for themselves. ESTPs may struggle in a career that requires them to respect a tradition that they don't understand. They love working with others, but in a collaborative sense, not an authoritative one. Careers that focus on doing what you're told, when you're told, are not places that ESTPs will stay. They make great facilitators, salesmen, marketers, police officers, paramedics, business owners, computer techs, or athletes. ESTJs and ESTPs both crave an environment where they have to work hard. Where they differ is that ESTJs need a strong, proven tradition and everyone pulling their weight. And ESTPs need novel challenges that require them to stretch their creativity. So that's ESTJs and ESTPs. Do you have any characters that fit the EST type? And if you don't, does this inspire you to make one? Let me know all of that down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.